It's uh, local time is one o'clock or two o'clock California time. Bus is charging. Uh, they got everything done on it. The AC is working. We're at 66%, which means we still have probably an hour sitting here. It's a four hour, 33 minute trip to Blythe, California tonight with a stop in Indigo, Indio to recharge. We're still in uh, Casa, Casta Mesa right now. The bus just got uh, serviced. We're waiting for it to recharge at 66%. We just towed our luggage. We got out of our hotel. We're at the ABC service center. And as soon as everything's done, we're gonna hit the road. Tomorrow, we're gonna need to do some makeup time. Alberto's leaving us. He's been with us for the last three days, following along to make sure that uh, we acclimate. And you have done a great job. I can't thank you enough. You've gone above and beyond. Thank you. And um, you guys are great. You know, thank you for spending the time with you guys. Um, hope you guys have a nice trip and a safe trip. Alberto, how long of a drive do you have to get home? Six hours. He's six hours away from home because he followed us all the way here. Yes. Take care of yourself, care. my friend. Yeah. Keep in touch. <laughs> and Alberto makes music. Oh yeah. He produces yeah. music. Yeah. And in the future, my YouTube channel, which I use a lot of different music, I'm gonna be, send me some tracks. Yeah, yeah definitely, I'll send them your way and uh, hopefully pop up in your video too. All right, I'll talk to you. Right. Keep in touch, don't be a stranger. <laughs> <laughs> This is a street. We are blocking part of the street. And getting out is going to be fun because we can't exit that way. That sign's too low. Green light blinking. Okay. Okay, charging error. Okay. Plug in? Yeah. Oh, I heard the battery click. Oh, it had an orange light come on. Power cycle the uh, battery. Oh, work. They're definitely not set up for it. <laughs> Okay, plug in first. There you go. How come it doesn't want your car? I don't know, free charge. So we're in a awkward place, but this is where we're gonna sit for the next uh, probably three or four hours. We're gonna eat, and I'm just gonna leave the bus like this. Traffic's gonna have to get around me. So we still have 136 miles to go. That's two hours and eight minutes. We're currently in Cabazon, California. Um, right now, if we left now, we'd get in at 9, 10 p.m., but it's going to be three hours to charge, so uh, we're going to get there about midnight. I think it's dinner time. I wish they'd stop blowing these stupid. Can't they tell I'm trying to record a video? It's so loud. time thinking it was charging it was charging when we left we went to eat it only charged for 10 minutes and uh, it stopped charging 
gonna power cycle the battery again. We're contacting Electrify America. All agents are presently assisting other callers. Please remain on the line and your call will be answered in order received. Green? Uh, it's not green. Yeah, that's what it kept doing to me. Hang it up. We are experiencing high call volumes and appreciate your continued patience. This will be the last message you'll hear. We will continue to play music until an agent becomes available. I've spent the last hour plugging this in and uh, it won't charge. Now, I did try to power cycle the battery like I've been shown and when I uh, bring it back after waiting two or three minutes. I plug it in. It would uh, uh, I'd hear the battery click and it would instantly go to the red error light, which means uh, There's an error. I would hang it up and when I plug it in again, no light comes on nothing um, So I power cycle again the same thing happens you plug it in the first time it gets error You disconnect wait a couple minutes plug it in again. I'd get nothing but nothing There's no not even a light on the second try. What a waste of time <laughs> This is a huge time drain. Oh, we've been here for an hour now. We haven't charged more than 3%. Oh my gosh. I shouldn't be recording right now because I'm really frustrated. I'm gonna say things that are not objective. I'm gonna turn the camera off right, right now and try to like figure out what I, what I can do because we're stranded in the middle of a desert in uh, Cabazon in California. So let me figure this out. I'll tell you guys what happens uh, at the end of all this. Hey, good morning. do a damn thing like it's doing last night Ugh. It, it doesn't matter what that says if this is not lighting up it's not gonna do anything charge error unable to start your charge please check that you're connected The yep, app's finally working. You're still on hold. How, how long has it been? 23 minutes. 23 minutes. We're still on hold with Electric Charge America. 23 minutes. Those guys don't answer the phone. And it's charging at 134 kilowatt hours. We're at 32%. I'm not touching this thing until it's done. This is freaking nuts. The bus drive's fine. The charging is horrible. Look how many charging stations we're blocking now. So that we can use this one we tried using that one that was the same one we charged at last night it'll charge for 10 minutes and then it'll stop i tried using the app the app shows it unavailable even though this shows available uh that's that's not the right port so we had to use this one there's no way to fit a bus in here so we did this now we're blocking one two three four five 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 charging stations and we're gonna be here for a while. So this is day four, we're in Cabazon, Arizona. No, 
We're in Cabazon, California, right next to Banning, California. As we were charging here, it stopped us at 61%. It just automatically stopped and I used the app to try to restart another session. It wouldn't let me anymore. It told me my grace period was over. I don't know what that means. I, don't, I didn't know there was a grace period. Good thing we didn't walk away from the bus because otherwise if we came back, it would have stopped charging. So we were here to see it stop. I heard it stop. So instead of using my app, I had to use my credit card without the app and now it's charging again. People are trying to pile up because we're in the way and we're blocking a lot of chargers. That one guy back there He's uh, coming in as soon as he is. is really starting to uh, kind of wondering what, what time we're, we're getting out of here. You're not gonna plug it? When you come here, when you go to the stations, like you got four change stations, one works. Yeah. It's always the same thing. Really? Always the same thing, yeah. Just very unpredictable yeah. and reliable. Well, good luck trying to get them on the line though. <laughs> we're finding that out. We're yeah. How long have you been on? Almost two hours now? Uh, one hour, 45 minutes. Yeah, almost two hours. So at uh, two hours, we'll have a celebration. So what show happens if that's the only uh, station available and you're on and you've got no charge and now you got to get home? That's our problem. This thing won't go that far, so we have to make sure we're charged up enough to get to our next location. Yeah. All right. Okay, James, two hours. We've hit the two hour Two hour point. mark. On hold. I've used 19%. Oh, three. Oh. Hello? 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 Hey, we've been on hold for two hours and we need some assistance. Are you having issues charging your car? Yes, we uh, need a uh, a uh, charging station reset, if you could. Okay, and what type of car do you drive, sir? I'm driving a Van Hool TDX 25E. Is it common to wait for two hours before someone answers the phone? At some point, um, our call volume is larger than other times. Well, we understand that, but we started at 7 o'clock in the morning to do this, and then last night we were on at 8 o'clock at night. Are you telling us you have that much problems with the charging stations at that time? I'm misunderstanding. I'm just stating that perhaps if you chose the right prompts, it would let you through to an agent faster. So we choose the wrong prompts, we're on hold for two hours. So which prompt do we push to get an agent quicker? Possibly one for technical support on a, on a station. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what we did last night. That's what we did last night. Last night I chose technical support. I was on the phone, I was on hold for 45 okay. minutes. Yes sir, I definitely understand it being frustrating as a wait on hold, but sometimes our call volume is larger than other. Mm. Thank you for your time today. We appreciate your service here. Thanks for having You have a great day. You too. Two hours just for that. They didn't help us at all. You could have used that charger too. Is it not working? I don't know. I don't know. Which charger? That. that one? Yeah. I'm no, one one is that broken. I'm still That's looking broken. at the bus. Yeah, if you go around, the screen says uh, unavailable. Man, the, the, the people who are going to come in a little bit are going to curse at you, man. The way you park the bus. Yeah, I know. It's the only way we could do it. I know. <laughs> I mean, it's like in another half an hour, you will see. You will see people coming in like. Really? Yeah. Hi, is this you guys? Yeah. Any idea how much longer you're going to be? We're at 91, uh, probably another 45 minutes, 30 minutes. All right. I'm sorry. Bad call on that one, guys. Bad call on us? Yeah, that's We don't have a choice. Quite a few spots. We don't have a choice. Mm -hmm. Look at the size of this thing. Yeah, no. Maybe it's not. Maybe buses aren't the right thing to make electric. <laughs>
What do you think? Where's the thing? Oh. Yeah. Nicely done. Thank you. Nicely done. I've seen anybody do it that way. How long have you been driving, man? Uh, well, uh, since 2010. That was fing great. Do you mind if I take a look? No, please hop in. I'm, yeah. I, I, I'm a DOT officer. Oh. Yeah, feel free to check it out. Uh, best. Starlink. Oh. Yeah, we have Starlink on board. Yeah, it's the best seat in the house. An up there. <laughs> no better than an airplane. Yeah, yeah. That's nice up there. A little more leg room up there. Oh yeah. We are in uh, Quartzsite, California. We managed to get it char charging. We uh, backed over the gravel, so you can see the curbs down there. And this is how we managed to do this without blocking anyone. We met some friends. This is Alan. He's got a YouTube channel called James. Palm Spring Point of Views. Go check Palm that channel Springs. out. Palm Springs Point of View. Plural. Palm Springs Point of View. I will put the link down below. Go check out I'm Alan's channel. I'm going to be channel. watching James' channel. <laughs> that sounds good, this sir. Is, this is awesome what these guys are doing. <laughs> We're making friends along the way. <laughs> it is 114 degrees out here. My GoPro won't stay on for more than two minutes, so I don't know how long I have to talk, but we're parked, barely. Um, as you can see, we had to do some pretty creative parking. We are way over the uh, gravel, and I'm glad we didn't bottom out, because uh, for a second there, I thought we would. Okay, we've been here for two hours now. Uh, first, we had to fight for the spot, obviously, and as you can see, we're kind of cattywampus. We made it work, but the worst thing is this thing's only charging at nine kilowatts an hour, which is super slow. We're currently at 53%, we got 100 miles to make. So we might be seeing what this bus can do because if this keeps going down to nine kilowatts, I think just a minute ago it went down to three kilowatts, which we just reset again. This is the third time we've unplugged and replugged it. It seems to cause the kilowatt rate to go up for a little bit. It's 114 degrees outside right now, so that's not helping. A uh, employee at the love station told me that uh, they actually had to throttle the charge stations down because of the heat. So that's why we're experiencing this. Oh, what a, what an experience. It's not the bus, it's the chargers. All right, we just finished charging to 55%. We've been here for two hours. We went from 50% to 55% because that stupid charger was only up to uh, charging up to nine to 13 kilowatts, which is nothing. We have 100 miles to go on 55%, so we're really gonna test out this bus's capabilities today. We're gonna get, we, we're basically gonna drain the battery down to zero to get to our next stop, which is, uh, we're, remember, oh, we're bottomed down. Raise, raise it, raise it, right here. We're raising. Parked. Yeah. All right, we just made it to uh, uh, Yuma. No, not Yuma. What is this? Uh, Buckeye. Buckeye. Buckeye, Arizona. I got Steve. How do you pronounce your last name? Shinko. Steve Shinko. That's one of my first Shinko. viewers. He comments on all my videos. And Trucker we Trucker 316. Trucker 316. Check out his channel, Trucker 316. Yeah. Um, he used to drive coach, and he drove truck, and so, uh, and now he's here, hanging out with me. 
So we made it. We're here with 20% left on our battery. But just to give you guys an insight of the predicament we're in, we're blocking an entire throughway at Walmart. So we gotta wait on them. Do you know how far along they are? About an hour and a half. Are you serious? All right, well, let me figure out what's gonna happen because these guys are gonna be a couple hours. This one's abandoned. He's leaving. What about this one right here? That one's broken. Crap. Yeah. Hold on, I'm gonna move the bus real quick because I think one opened up. I'm gonna see if. Yeah. And so while it's on. Okay, so once again, we have to reposition the bus. We were right there, uh, as you guys remember. And now we're right there because this one freed up. We're charging at 128. I'm so glad to see that number. Or 19%. It's gonna be a few hours. I'm gonna let it do its thing. Hopefully it stays at that rate, if not grows higher. Dennis is putting out some cones. We're blocking the entire <laughs> uh, entry into the first aisle of Walmart. There's the uh, entrance from the street, and nobody's getting through here this way. We're charging. It only took us, what, an hour to get it charging because of repositioning and waiting. Oh, goodness. <laughs> it's an adventure. So, okay, uh, we're going to get some food, something to drink, uh, some chill time. And I really hope this thing doesn't cut off on us. Do I need to? Big pull on it. Big pull? Oh. What, this thing? So this one here is 150. Yeah, they're both 150. Yeah. So you could probably do this one better. Yeah. Let's see what the speed is. 129. Alright. It's not a. just worked out real good. Can you imagine if we were here during the day and this place is packed? There's our Uber. Oh, thank you. I'll throw this in there too. Hold on one sec. Okay. Me too. How are you? Yes, sir. Busy thing. 